Now the only equipment that I used for this product video shoot was the GoPro Hero 10 and the macro lens adapter. It's cold outside. It's really cold outside. It gets cold in Australia, man. This thing is amazing. I could have gone out and shot it on the RED or I could have gone and shot it on the Sony A7S III or the FX6, but I wanted to show you guys that you can produce some quality content, professional content with small cameras like the GoPro Hero 10 or even your iPhone or any, any camera you have lying around. So let me know in the comments down below what you thought of that video and how you think the GoPro Hero 10 stood up as a professional product video camera. Now this thing is pretty cool. It just pretty much screws off if I can get it to work. Yeah, so it just screws off like that uh, and you put it on and that's it, it's good to go. One of the key things with this though is you have to be the correct distance away from the lens to get everything like crispy in focus. Otherwise it's gonna be a little bit out of focus and it's not gonna look very good. The lighting that I had on this shoot was the Aperture 300D and a big softbox, which is key, and also a NAN strip light, which was colored in blue to, you know, accentuate the blue raspberry flavor. And also just a couple of small little lights from Pixel. Now, as you'll see in these behind the scenes shots, everything was kind of done on the Moses Slypod. Now this is a great little bit of kit. It is a little bit frustrating to use. It is a little bit fiddly, but the shots you can get with it are fantastic. So the plan with these shots was to go from white to white, to transition from you know the shaker bottle to the actual product itself and go through those things. I only ended up doing a couple of these transitions, but I think they worked out really well. So the product I picked was from Ghost. Now this is a pre-workout supplement. So you have this before you go to the gym to pump you up, to amp you up, stuff like that. And I love this product. I've used it before, I've used it for a while and I love their products because I love their packaging. It's just so cool, it's sick, it stands out, it looks vibrant, it's different. So that's the main reason I picked this product. And that's what you want to start out with. You don't wanna start out with an ugly product because you're gonna be pushing shit uphill. You wanna have something that's aesthetic, that's nice to look at and you'll be on a winner. Now one of the main things that I hate about blue raspberry is blue raspberries don't exist and I was going to spray paint the the raspberries but that's not what this video was about so we kept the raspberries red because I wanted to see you know the hairs on them I wanted to see them in their natural form. Now for this shot what I wanted to achieve is kind of you know the lid flipping off and the raspberries coming out of the product um, so there was a couple of elements involved here. We had to put fishing line on the lid itself um, and obviously um, composite that out in After Effects. And then we shot the raspberries separately and then uh, composited them into that shot in After Effects. Now this shot here is probably one of my favorites and I was a little bit worried that uh, the GoPro wouldn't stand up because it was very dimly lit. Um, and there was a lot of bright light. So there was a lot of blue and there was a lot of red happening there. And notoriously cameras really don't like that really high intensity blue light and red light. Some cameras do shut down. And there was a little bit of noise in this, uh, but overall I think it was a really cool effect. Now let's talk frame rates. The majority of this shoot was done at 5.2K at 50 frames a second. There were a few of the slow-mo shots were done at 2.7K at 200 frames a second, which I think turned out so good for coming out of a GoPro. And with the slow-mo, I wasn't actually sure how it was gonna turn out because this was a bit of a test for me as well. I wanted to see how far I could push the GoPro and what kind of shots I could get out of it. And I have to say, I'm pretty stoked on it. So there was a couple of shots there where I wanted to try and replicate the probe lens. Now I'm sure all of you are familiar with the probe lens. I don't have the probe lens. Um, it's a very niche thing to have and it is used a lot for product videos. You see it everywhere. So I wanted to see 
see if I could get the same kind of shots with the GoPro and the macro lens. Now let me know what you guys thought. Did you think that the GoPro did an okay job of replicating the macro lens? If you did, hit a like, hit subscribe. We've got some really cool content coming up for you guys. So with any video production, sound design is super important and this was no exception. So I want you guys to listen to the video just with the sound design. So you can see how important just taking that little bit of extra time to put some effort into the sound design, it'll absolutely change your video. Another thing that's really important to setting yourself up for success when shooting with something like this is your settings. So stay tuned, I do have a video coming out soon showing you the best settings for the GoPro Hero 10 or 9 or 8 or 7, whichever GoPro you have to make it look cinematic. You just have to be determined in what you want to produce, you have to think about it, plan it out and make sure the most important thing is that your lighting is on point. And that's it for this video guys. If you did like the video, please like, subscribe, comment down below and I'll see you in the next one.